Welcome back everyone. Um, I just wanted to make this video. Uh, I got uh, one of these uh, solid steel body Abus uh, 8355s. Um, it does state that it's a rock. Uh, some of my buddies and I were confused about it and uh, well verified it when the mail came and it states it's the rock. Uh, I don't know what the major differences are uh, on the 83 core. Um, I mean, I, I do know a couple of the differences. Um, for one, on a typical 83 core, even the chrome plated ones, uh, you usually see this uh, trying to get the camera to focus on that, but you see the the C6A300, um, and it comes with uh, five chambers pinned up. The open one comes with the spare spring and uh, spool pin, and the cover. So that way you can turn it into a six pin lock. Um, that's the way they all are. I've even got uh, a newer version of the core um, I might have chrome and yeah I believe they're I don't know where the other one is um, okay yeah here's an Avis 888 core um, oh, I've got it in the wrong zip lock uh, and I know I'm going to be reviewing the rock here but I just I wanted to point out these differences uh, the A88 core isn't uh, you know any different dimensionally uh, it too is solid on uh, top of the Bible here it doesn't have um, the open fifth chamber uh, this one does not have an open fifth chamber and, and uh, so you can see on this, it doesn't have the C6A on it. So I don't, I'm guessing that would differentiate uh, the ones that have solid cores as to the C6A. Um, but then I've got <laughs> C6A 3000. And the differences between this is, oh, nice. I've got the pins removed, so this will be easy. Um, totally wasn't even going to do this on the video, but uh, so that worked out. Okay, so the differences between the C6A300 and the C6A3000, it still has the open six hole. Um, but on the core, it's got uh, anti drills, uh, yeah, anti drill pins in here, and it's got uh, two anti drill pins in this core. And so that's the difference there. Like I said, uh, the brass one, that's the C6A300, it's going to be the same as uh, a chrome plated one. So. You can see there's no anti-drill pins. Anyhow, those are the, the differences. Uh, went on a little bit too long about that. Um, all my other Abus locks that I get, uh, whether I just buy spare cores or I buy locks such as this one here, they always come zero-bitted. And they always come with a Z-bar. Um, I think they're usually already preset to key retaining. Uh, that's not the same with this lock. Uh, the 8355 rock, it comes, and there's probably other versions that come with uh, zero-bitted keys, but the version that I got, it didn't state anything. Uh, I just figured it was going to be a zero-bitted key. Instead, it came with these 
oh, these are the operating or the yeah the customer owner keys or whatever. These would be like contractor keys. And you can see the bidding on that is terrible, but no big deal. It's a contractor key. Had an earlier video where I showed that I had a T pin that got stuck in that hole. Well, that is what that uh, pin is for, is to disable the contractor key. The contractor key I can stick in the lock. Open it up. Then the owner key. And you can see the, let me show the bidding on this first. Not favorable, right? I guess it's not horrible, but it's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> the fifth pin back, and then the first three pins are really not too different in height. And it's just the fourth pin back that has any height to it. And with the depth of the key, I mean, you can get to that with the pick, no problem. Uh, I, who knows how quickly I'll be able to pick this open on video here but I'm just saying these are the the keys that came with it I got it from uh, Zorro tools on eBay for a pretty decent price it was uh, $35.99 I paid five bucks shipping and handling so it still $39.99 total so anyhow after using the owner key I go to stick the contractor key back in and it doesn't work and that's because that pin that would normally be in use by the contractor key is now no longer there because it fell into the small little hole that captures it. So now I'm going to put this stuff off to the side. And hopefully this won't take me too long. It didn't the first time. That keeps getting in the way. So let's see how quickly I can pick this. I've got this stupid notebook in the way. All right. The stock Abus pin configuration. It's a five pin configuration. The First pin is serrated, all the rest are spools. And all the key pins are standard. Okay. Thought I had it for a second. There we go. So that took me longer than it did the first time. And it's just, I'm holding my arms here kind of awkwardly on camera, but <laughs> that's not a problem for me. Uh, it's way too easy. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm really used to picking the Abus pins for, for one thing, but that key bidding is just terrible. And that was something I've, wanted to show quickly with the 888 core um i think i've got that core here's here's another brass Abus. oh wait no 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 this is the one i mean check out the bidding on the 888 core i've been able to pick this thing once but it's actually kind of difficult and it's because all the pins are set pretty high it sucks that they're all level but you can't I haven't really figured out if you can rake it or not um, because the upper warding on the 888 keyway is uh, really tight. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh, yeah. There we go. The, I don't know how well that will show up on camera here, but the, the warding is really tight, so it will catch, you know, say a rake. Uh, it gets the hook stuck in the, the core. Anyhow... My ADD is very apparent in this video. So anyhow, like I said, this is not a problem that it was so incredibly easy to pick. 
because I make my own pins. Um, I've got uh, the Sparrows Reload Kit. If you know, I make my own keys. Uh, it's been a while since I've made one. The last one I, I made, I sent out already um, to someone else. So uh, yeah, I've sent out a couple different keys. But anyhow, the other day I picked a, uh, one of the 8380, uh, yeah, 8345s on video. I believe it was my other brass one it might have been this one or it might have been the closed shackle version um but i use standard pins in that configuration um in the standard uh i'll say the stock abus security pins uh but i had five spool pins one serrated up front and with this key um yeah i could pick it pretty easy i did it on video fairly shortly so this one let's go back to this one here uh, got to find where I put the keys yeah customer keys okay and I got to set up my camera better this is kind of a awkward uh, angle I just wanted to try to get some more close-up views so this is the 83 series core that comes with uh, the rock um, like I said it doesn't have the C6A written on there it's just 300 uh, it's completely covered on top no open six hole mine's a little bit scratched up because of what I had to do to it the other day uh, made one of the biggest amateur <laughs> mistakes or I'll say one of the biggest rookie mistakes dealing with the 83 series core is that this pin, the uh, core retaining pin, got stuck up inside the uh, driver pin chamber. And I thought I was going to have to drill it out. Uh, it's that mark right there. But I did not want to drill this core that has all six driver pin holes covered. I was just really against it. <laughs> and like none, you know, hardly any of those cores are, uh, yeah, hardly any uh, of the other cores that I have, you know, are fully covered on top. So I don't know something about it. I didn't want to drill a hole through it and mess it up like I did the other brass one. And that's pretty much going to be what the point of this video is. Uh, I have no idea where I put my uh, plug follower. I'm going to look for that for a second off camera. Haha, <laughs> I found it really quick. Um, yeah, everything's in focus. So, we'll take this out. And it was no problem gutting the original pin uh, configuration. Uh, and these are so easy. I don't care what order they go in. And I guess the same with uh, the stock Avis pins. Uh, yeah, I, I can also see I kind of wore out the side here when I was trying to get that uh, pin drilled out. Because what I did, and let's see if I can remove this. Yeah, I'm going to try to do this off camera real quick. Okay, I'm back. Um, so yeah. Uh, instead of drilling into the Bible, I drilled into the retaining uh, button. God, I keep moving my hands off camera. Uh, I drilled into the retaining button. You can kind of see how I messed it up there. Uh I don't really consider it messed up because this is what I intended to do. Um, trying to catch it just right. Yeah, 
So yeah, you can see uh, I cut into it, and that allowed me to at least squish in the sides just a little bit, because this really fit snug into here. Uh, I tried for a while to try to tap it out. So the only thing I could do was to uh, basically cut off the side using uh, one uh, I believe a one sixteenth inch diameter drill bit, um, and then I, I yanked the spring out um, for the little button. But here you can see the button. And what I did is I took an old uh, messed up spring from one of the pin chambers that uh, yeah messed up a gutting. I always keep the springs figured. You never know what I'll use them for. So uh, here's a fine example of that. So my temporary fix was to do that. Stick that. Sorry, I keep moving my hands off camera. So, yeah, I stick that in there, and now I've got a uh, working button again. Now, I don't want to look at that ugly cutout spot there, so I stuck it back in the core with the cut side turned towards the inside. Um, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to mess up that spring. I guess fine. Uh, I don't want to stick it all the way back in, so... Um, I'm just going to leave it halfway out. But anyhow, I got it in. The Once that is fully seated, the pin sticks out just fine. And it works, obviously, because I had it all back together. But I just wanted to show that you can actually, if you do ever get this retaining pin on the 83 Series core stuck up inside the Bible, this is always an option. Just go up through the bottom here. And if you're careful, you can just kind of chip away at uh, the side of that uh, brass tube and no no problem there uh, I always get this K&S uh, brass rod and normally 8th inch in, uh, yeah 1 8th inch diameter um, I use one third or 3 32nd diameter and a few other sizes fairly often uh, but I went out and got this 3 16th inch diameter um, because at first I was going to completely replace the button that I was making. And I had an old uh, main shaft from um, an RC helicopter. Um, and what I did is I ground it down. And uh, made it the same diameter as the retaining pin. But then I tried to drill into it and... Uh, I believe there's another piece laying around here somewhere. Um, oh, here it is. It's still inside the drill chuck. So, anyhow, I was going to cut off the tip here. And you can see where I was trying to bore into that. Uh, this is basically high carbon steel. <laughs> so, I, uh, yeah, that was a no go. I decided I was going to. Go out to the hardware store today, pick up some KNS brass rod. I'm going to drill that out, uh, make it just like the one that's in the lock, replace uh, or just put that spring and button back in there, and uh, it'll be a done deal. It'll be good as new. Um, this is that uh, little pin that falls into the side of the core here for the contractor key. I uh, forgot to show that earlier, but uh, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, sorry the video is probably a little bit too long. Uh, but I figured this was useful information to know. Um, I've got some other videos planned. I've got like a Generation 2 design of my wafer driver pins. That was going to be another point of this video. And I'm not going to get into it now. It's It'll be for another video, but 
what I did was I pinned up the core with that uh, SC4 key. And I used six from my wafer drivers. So far, I have not been able to pick this lock or this lock when I, I've loaded up uh, the wafer drivers and I uh, use that six uh, pin configuration uh, where I picked the lock the other day so quickly. I picked the rock today with uh, this other key. Um, but I the other day I picked uh, one of the brass ABUS 83s and uh, uploaded that video. Um, picked it really quick, and that was because I was using the stock spool and serrated pins. I'm used to them. I'm used to that key configuration. Uh, so that's the whole reason why I was able to do as quickly as I did there. Um, the rock, I'm just, I'm, I've gotten really used to picking those pins. So when I first opened it, like I said, I was in it like 20 seconds. And so anyhow, I'm going to be loading up these uh the wafer driver pins in there and like I said it's like impossible for me to pick uh yet I I, I will get there I could pick a five pin key configuration with uh, the wafer driver pins but uh I haven't been able to do the six pin yet and it uh it's definitely a different feeling but anyhow this video is long enough so I appreciate you guys uh watching uh, if you like subscribe uh I'll subscribe back to your channel because uh, I think it's important for the community to uh, stick together and have each other's backs. And uh, we, we really help each other thrive and, and progress in our skills and build really good friendships. So, um, yeah, until next time, take care, stay legal.